welcome back to my channel so today we're doing another cash envelope stuffing and this is paycheck number three of april and also we are doing a q a in this video if you guys want to skip through a q a i'll leave the timestamp right here to get right into the cash envelope stuffing and let's get right into this video so i'm gonna answer a few questions and we're just gonna get right into this so the first comment is Lanesia is about to be at five bands okay sis i really respect how you always put money aside for your kids they will have such a great future thank you what's your profession how did you get started with cash envelope stuffing what's your boyfriend's profession all right so i did tell you guys already that i am a lead technician so i operate a machine and i lead a crew I tried to like make everything run smoothly and if something messes up I try my best to troubleshoot the issue so that's basically what I do as a lead technician um, how did you get started with cash envelope stuffing so I got started just like how you guys got started so like you guys run into a video recommended to you so I got one of the cash envelopes stuffing video that was recommended to me but i don't remember who it was because at that time i was watching day ramsey and his ways that's how i also got started too so about my boyfriend's profession that's his business so um i didn't ask him if i'm able to talk about it but so right now just put that aside Okay, next question is, what made you choose the money envelope budget style over other types of budgeting styles? So, I chose the cash envelope method because I did try other budgeting methods, other budgeting styles, but I was never able to stick to it. Like, I was started, but I was never able to just stick to it, stick to my budget. So, when I came to the cash envelope system, you guys, it's been over a year and I'm able to stick to this method. Like, it works taking all the money out of my bank account when I get paid and just giving each dollar a job to do really helps, guys. Like, I was never able to save before and once I switch over to this, I was able to save so much, able to manage my money and just know where all my money goes. I all right, so what was the hardest money lesson you ever learned? I do wanna let you guys know, when I was a teenager, I was always online shopping and I was always using PayPal and I did get scammed. So I guess that's one of the hardest money lessons I ever learned is getting scammed. Somebody had contacted me through email. So they told me that if I didn't pay X amount, that my PayPal account was gonna close and I didn't want my PayPal account to close because that's all I use. So I didn't do my research, I didn't do anything, I didn't contact PayPal because this email alone looked it so legit. And um, so they told me I couldn't pay through PayPal because my account was already in the process of closing. So I had to use Western Union to send, send the money and I did, I was young and dumb, and I got scammed out of, I believe it was two or three hundred dollars, I'm not sure, but like, it could have been avoided. But me being young, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, I just wanted the issue resolved as soon as possible. So yeah guys, watch out, there's scammers out there, they'll take your hard earned money and just do whatever with it, like, it just messed up. All right, so next comment. I was watching other people stuff it because I watched all of yours. Oh. Do you have separate bank accounts for all your sinking funds or do you just put in one account when you put your money in a bank? So no, I don't have separate bank accounts for all my sinking funds. I do just um, throw my money into my checking account and my checking account holds my buffer money. So that checking account, if anything, like needs to go towards savings, my kids' savings. Um, I do transfer those amounts to my Navy Federal Credit Union Easy Start Certificate. So the great thing about that certificate account is that you don't have a limit of deposits. You could deposit as much money as you want, as many times as you want, and um, 
it just helps you save. You could deposit that money, but you can't touch it until your maturity date. So that's a great thing about that account. And I was earning good, I guess, is called good? I don't know. Good interest, I guess. Better than a savings account. I was getting like $30 a month from that account. All right. Um... Next comment, the way I love this woman, even though I don't even know how she looks or know much about her, all I know is she boss and I'm trying to get like her. Oh, thank you so much. I love you too. Oh, time to be nosy for the Q&A. What's your job? I already answered that. How long have you and your boyfriend been together? So we've been together um, for 13 years. Um... I do have two kids with him and we have a four-year-old she's about to be five and I have a two-year-old who is about to be three that's Lanesia and Jaden so how to get how do you get started doing cash envelopes so I already told you guys it was recommended in my YouTube because I was always watching Dave Ramsey your channel inspired me to start saving my oldest son is graduating high school this coming may congratulations i was trying to figure out how i could save money without always spending it i came across your channel and started watching how you budget my number one was to save it for my son i'm proud to state because of your budgeting channel i saved up seven thousand dollars wow since last year august for my son's graduation thank you i'm not going to stop budgeting i love you chica wow that's amazing so i would like to say congratulations and um that's awesome that you saved up seven thousand just from last year for your son's graduation and girl never stop budgeting manage your money and keep it going and i love you too all right next question what's your technique when you go to the store and have to buy clothes food and something else do you ha make separate transactions or all in one transaction so um I don't make separate transactions all in one. At the end of the day, you could just go through your receipt and just write out all the transaction and just take it out. But as you guys know that I do track all my transaction and at the end of the month, I do take it out the envelopes. So I usually never have to like separate food and clothing because I do go to like um, an exclusive, not ex exclusive, but like a grocery store, like Shot Right, and they don't sell clothes. I don't think so. And Acme, I usually do grocery shopping there. And for clothes, I usually go to Macy's or the outlet or online shop. So that's the reason why I never had to really separate that. So next, would you be willing to do a video on a way to start the envelope system? Yes, but as you guys can see, I'm like super busy so i really want to do do that video but i just have so much things coming my way i'm i'll try guys i really will try like um my nails you guys know i usually do my nails but i actually got my nails done and um i did these gems myself you know i'm all about the bling so i did do my own design but um, I just got a full set at the salon. I love to see a week in your life. How you spend your money to buy groceries, fill the tank oil, work and everything that's related with budgeting. May I know your age? You see so young and energetic. So love to see you budgeting. Yes, thank you for the suggestions. I will have that in mind. And my age at um you guys could you guys comment down below how old you guys think i am i want to know how old you guys think i am so the first person that gets my age right i'll heart your comment so everybody will know how old i am all right next question do you pay for rent and mortgage um my boyfriend takes care of the mortgage your voice your accent your nails the money sound this is asmr i don't know yes i truly agree with you but today um i kind of have a sore throat going on so i keep stopping and drink some juice and suck on some holes 
all right so next question how do, how old are you what does your boyfriend do for work will you ever do a face reveal all right so i already tell you guys to comment down below how old i am how old you guys think i am what does your boyfriend do for work i already answered that that's his business and i haven't asked him if i could like disclose that or anything so i'll leave that to for him to answer if he ever do if I, we ever do a vlog and he can answer that himself will you ever do a face reveal yes i was thinking about doing a face reveal but actually i was actually thinking about doing a face reveal for the q a i was actually gonna do it at a park so like it could be like a chill setting a good day we could sit on the grass and be talking together but um that didn't happen because it was always cold windy cloudy raining so when it was a good day i was oh i had something to do so that sucks so when i will i ever do a face reveal yes i will you guys give me to 100k <laughs> just playing how much cushion do you leave in your bank account for purchases made through the month throughout the month using your debit card so i do have a two thousand dollar cushion i call it my buffer money so yeah that helps me get through the month what are some things you wish you knew when you first started your cash envelope system so um uh there's not really things i wish i knew um it's a learning process you know when you start budgeting you learn as you go so i don't think there's anything i wish i knew before i started budgeting i just love the system guys all right um i'm answered two more questions for now then we'll just get right into the cash envelope stuffing so what are your goals for the next year whether it be financial or personal development your videos are so relaxing to watch by the way love seeing all your sync of friends girl so my goals honestly is just to keep saving and be debt free okay last question where do you and your family plan on going for family vacation so we plan on going to disney sometime this summer if possible we'll see how it goes all right guys so let's get right into our cash envelope stuffing starting off with utilities utilities is getting 50 dollars next is my cash envelopes and i believe we have all empty envelopes no we don't so groceries we have one two three four five dollars and you guys already know these dollars is going to my kids piggy bank and groceries is getting 120 so 40 60 80 120 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Next is gas, and gas is getting $60. 20, 40, 60. Spending is getting $20, and we do have a $1 in here, and this is going to my kids' piggy bank. And spending is getting 20. Beauty is getting $20. Because I'm going to need a refill in um, the next two weeks. Giving is getting $5. And let's see how many fives we collected last week. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So you guys already know these fives is going into my $5 saving jar. And let's get right into our sinker funds. Okay, starting out with my kids savings first. My kids are getting 25 each as per usual. So 20 five 
one, two, three, four thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, five, seventy, five, eighty, two, four, six, eight, ninety. So the Nuja has four thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. Oh, and also guys, I did get a question about my bracelets. So I got these bracelets from an Asian jewelry store. So you guys, if you guys want these, you just go into the Asian jewelry store and they have like a whole display of jewelry out and you just choose what you want. So these are 18 karat gold. All right, next is Jaden, and Jaden is also getting 25. One, two, three, four thousand. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty. So Jaden has four thousand five hundred eighty dollars. Next is vacation, and vacation is getting fifteen dollars. So on vacation, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five. So we have eight hundred and eighty-five in vacation. Next is family time, and family time is getting ten dollars. I did use some of this money out of family time. I did take my kids to Sky Zone, where they'll be they jump on trampolines all day. I guess that's what you call it. But yeah, I didn't take the money out yet. So in family time, we have one, two hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, three, ten, three, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-five. So we have 365 in family time. And my clothing envelope is in here. Clothing, we're getting putting in $30. And I did spend a lot of my clothing money. We went clothes shopping. That's why the envelope is in attached. I took all my money. I took this whole envelope to the mall. So we now have 100, 200, 20, 31, 2. So we have 232. Right, guys, onto our blue binder. Okay, starting with my emergency fund. Emergency fund is getting $20. We have 1,000, 1, 2, 50, 300, 20, 40. So we have 13, 40 in our emergency fund. You guys, I'm going to try to get through this fast because I do have a sore throat and it's really bothering me. My car maintenance envelope is getting $40. So we now have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 510 dollars. So we have 1,510 in our car maintenance envelope. Debt snowball is getting 40 dollars. And we should have 340 in here so I can pay off my American Express credit card. So we have one, two, three hundred, twenty, forty. So perfect. Next is home remodel, and home remodel is getting $20. So we have 150, 200, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370. So we have 370 in home remodel. 
health is getting fifty dollars so we now have 200 in health all right so i'm not stuffing my savings challenge this week i am ahead of the game so i want to wait till may or probably my next check to start stuffing may but yeah i'm just so far ahead i don't want to stuff it all right next is my boyfriend savings challenge and he is stuffing 80 dollars so 50 70 80. all right guys onto my pink binder all right so my savings isn't getting stuff for this week um my jenny envelope isn't getting anything this week because we didn't have any rollover money besides the fives and ones and you guys already know the fives going to my file savings jar and the dollars going to my kids piggy bank so we didn't have no tens or no twenties christmas is getting 25 dollars So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 30, 45, 55, 57, 59, 60. We have 660 in our Christmas envelope. Next is back to school, and back to school is getting ten dollars. Uh, one hundred twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy-five. So one seventy-five in back to school. And last is gifts, and gifts is getting ten dollars. And we now have 100, 2, 350, 70, 80, 90, 400. So we have 400 in our gifts envelope. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.